Hello, Sam from Tool Hut. Today, I got a. I just want to go through this one with you real quick. It's a, a 2000 and. I don't know. It's a 11 or 12, maybe. Uh, BMW. The customer had called. Uh, a, the only conversation we really had on the phone was they had a bulletin, there were some updates on the DME, and wanted to know if I could do it. Well, I've got the Autologic and I've got the. BMW Icom next so obviously my answer was yes I can do it uh, we didn't have any discussion of what they were trying to fix or anything like that so I just wanted to I attempted to program this with the Autologic and I wanted to see you wanted you to see what I ran into and I also let you know before we started that I diagnosed the car uh, did not need the update to fix what they were trying to fix and it was a really simple repair and they had been struggling with it for uh, quite a while so not to brag but I just you got to do your due diligence when you're working on some of these cars so stand by alright first thing we need to do is get this Autologic started. There's a message on the screen, drive moderately. It's got 183,000-ish miles, 184, 761. So it's definitely been driven. It's not a brand new car by any means. So let's get this Autologic going, Drive Pro. Not the fastest scan tool I've ever seen. There's a lot of things I don't like about it. I'm kind of on the fence right now of returning it or keeping it. So just understand that I have seen the tool doing better with the last few updates, but it's still got its glitches. So I'm going to choose BMW. I'm going to let it determine the vehicle. It does a pretty good job of this. F10 chassis 535 so one of the things that bugs me right there vehicle scan I just want to scan it for codes I give it several minutes it never changes never does anything so I stop and I go back to uh, the programming the coding programming personalization individualization type settings so Like I said, I gave it several minutes. I sped through this for you so you didn't have to be bored with it. It doesn't never shows that it's doing anything, so I just kind of stop what it's doing. I did turn the camera off and back on because it's a little bit of a process. So we go back to the coding individualization and programming. There's a disclaimer that BMW wants to program all the modules. We know that. That's the reason we're using the Autologic, by the way. It tells me it takes a special cable because it's an F chassis, and then it tells me to uh, hook up the seat belt behind me. So I sped through this process too. This reading control unit took several minutes to do. The BMW tool is not any faster, so don't. This is not an Autologic glitch it just takes a long time to do I like to say I sped through this process for you so it's nowhere near as long here and one of the reasons we're using the Autologic is we're because it is an older car I don't want to take a chance of having a module fail during programming so all we want to do is update the DME yes there's some controversy about in just updating one module versus the whole vehicle or all modules need to be updated you'll see that this vehicle doesn't have very many modules really that need to be updated so my original thought was just choose up choose all of them that need to be updated and then we'll just update those so you'll see that it's got like six or seven modules here need updates on them uh, really not a lot for this vehicle and the Autologic and the BMW ICOM 
give you a pretty good idea when you choose your measures planned here of how long it's going to take to do it. So I did email myself the report there uh, just for just so I can have it for my records. And then we're going to go to create a measures plan. So once you've analyzed the vehicle, it needs to prepare a measures plan. And I get this not found message. I'm still not real sure what this is. So first thing I want to do here is I want to view the measures plan. I just want to make sure that the Autologic didn't put something in the plan. Another one of my issues with the Autologic is it looks like it's done, right? And nothing tells you where your measures plan is. So I hit the view button again. And then I notice over on the left hand side to get this document. I just don't care for how they do that. So uh, there was nothing in the measures plan because we hadn't put anything there. So like I said, my original thought right now is just pick all the modules that need to be updated, not the program ones, just the update ones. And then I want to see if it'll create the measures plan and tell me how long it'll take to do the whole thing. So we're just scrolling through modules here, seeing who needs to be updated or whatever. A couple more modules that need to be updated. One of the things I will tell you is I do not update any infotainment modules on any BMWs. And if they have an infotainment module that they need programmed, I will send it to the dealer. I just won't do them. The, the failure rate is way too high on those modules. Unless the customer absolutely understands that I'm not responsible for it. It's hard to explain. So ask me if I want to save my measures plan. And then it'll prepare the measures plan. tells me I have a problem with at least one control unit which prevents programming. I must have missed it. One of the things with the F chassis is every module on the vehicle that is supposed to be there needs to communicate in order to do an update. So here I got the RDS or RDC, the tire pressure monitoring system, does not communicate. So I cannot update this DME. This is kind of a tough conversation as far as I'm concerned with the customer because the customer hired me to update the DME. I can't update the DME, but I think I know what's wrong with the car. So just to try to get something out of this, I decide to do a little bit of investigative work on this vehicle. And what I notice is on the windshield, is it had a recent oil change. So I take the oil filter cap off and sure enough the basket is missing for the oil filter. So I go in and explain to the customer that that basket's missing. They have just happened to have one in the back. I don't know where it came from. Uh, doesn't really matter. We put the basket in, clear the codes, and this vehicle's fixed. Now the shop messed around with this car for a couple of days so I didn't feel bad charging them some diagnosis fee because I knew what was wrong with the car. It's a pretty common problem with uh, BMWs, so you want to keep that in mind, especially if they've been to a quick lube place. For some reason, the quick lubes just throw those baskets away and it causes all kinds of problems on these BMWs. There's a, a plug that on the bottom of it needs to go into a hole that actually redirects the oil around the filter and it long term could cause some real adverse effects with the prop with the engine so you want to make sure that you got that basket in there 
I've had a couple of these where the basket was broken, the end of the the end of it was broken off, and it caused the same problems. Even though the basket's there, there needs to be a little uh, O-ring at the at the bottom of it. So you got to make sure that that's in there too. So if you want to see some more videos like this, subscribe to my channel, hit the bell if you want to be notified when I let them go. Thumbs up, thumbs down, questions, comments, criticisms. Support our channel. See the link in the description here. Have a great day.